Hello, Big Green Egg community. My name is Chef Alex Chen. Today, I'm using my expander today. Just want to use this uh, accessories. Just want to expand on the usage. Um, I know that Big Green Egg itself with our community, we use a lot of uh, uh, this, uh, this grill to do a lot of meat. And I run a seafood restaurant. I tend to want to do a little bit, share a little bit more knowledge regarding uh, fish. My sous chef over here, Ethan. Ethan and I will be uh, cooking soft crust uh, uh, sea brim today. Uh, he's going to be in and out, and then he'll be helping me out. He's my best uh, assistant. So today we're doing sea brim, or also known as dorab royale. So it's a Mediterranean white fish, white flesh fish. We're going to cook it on the uh, salt crust, salt crust. So what we have over here, I have the cast iron. I have the cast iron right here. I have some salt, kosher salt with uh, chopped fresh fennel. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put about six egg white in there. I'm just going to mix it. So what what's going to happen is something like this. So we're gonna set the oven. We have a thin layer of uh, charcoal going on. And then we'll put the we'll put the grill on it already. One side I'm gonna cook some, uh, some other protein. This side right here, I'm just gonna put a layer of salt at the bottom. And I'm gonna cover the fish on top. So what you want, texture-wise, is uh, wet sand. What I like to do, I tend, I like to just get rid of the, some of the fin. Be, I will not be seasoning with salt anymore because the salt crust is uh, quite salty, and uh, but it will not be overly salted with the, with the for the fish because it's just uh, touching the surface area. But uh, we'll be seasoning them with some pepper, some some of my favorite spices using fennel fawns, and I do like the flavors of uh, fennel with this fish, because they do use it a lot in the, in the Mediterranean. So I use the fennel pollen, just a little pollen for the fennel. I think that adds a little delicate flavor to the whole fish. Just a little pepper. I like using black pepper instead of white pepper. I'm going to lightly spray the pan so that the egg white will come off after. I'm just gonna put a thin layer. Thin layer of salt on this pan. Son, can you get me my, uh, my fish? Really loving my uh, expander. It uh, allows me to uh, different possibility. Readjust the charcoal, but when I'm cooking my pork, it's dripping a lot of fat right now. So it allows me to also add more charcoal if I want to, and then uh, so that I don't have to remove. The, I don't have to remove the whole entire thing. So it's all in segmented. It's all in uh, different sections. So uh, gives us possibility. more heat right here. One. Just no charcoal underneath for the pork. And a little bit more heat on the uh, on the fish. 
and a little bit more heat on the omelette as well. So it's giving me some possibility. So. The fish is doing well. I see that the crust is uh, starting to form. That means that the heat is uh, penetrating on the top. It's uh, heat is sealing because it's heat hitting the egg white and it's coagulating the protein and it's creating a crust. So what it is right now, although the temperature is about 300 to 350, but it is just literally just steaming inside right now. So what we're looking for internal temperature when we cook it to uh, about 125. That's what So at this point right now, because there's still a lot of heat from the cast iron, I'm just going to take it out. So it's been in the oven around 300, 325 for approximately about 20 to 25 minutes. I can smell it. I can uh, I can see the crust is uh, hardened. Uh, at this point right now, it's uh, it's doing its job. Um, it's cooking the fish. It's on the layer of crust that's continuing continuing to steam. We're gonna let it rest for about five to 10 minutes before we're gonna uh, crack the crust open and then we'll attempt to uh, show you guys how to debone the fish. Slowly open this up. The aroma is coming out. This fish is just off the chart. The skin itself, it's uh, fairly salty, so I don't recommend eating that. I guess it's just in full contact with the salt. Skin should just come right off. Look at all the juices, the retention of the juice, it's just crazy. Skin, it's gonna be off. As you're cooking the fish on the bone, it's just so juicy. It retains all the moisture. This part right now, the little thin part. A little belly bone.
little olive oil, a little bit more pepper, done. Salt crust sea bream, on crude the cell, and a big grenade. 